Hey, what is up guys? I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best OBS settings for recording gameplay or, or anything that you're really recording. Okay guys, so to start off with, what I would do is go in and on OBS and click on profile. And after you click on profile, I would click new because what I do is I have one for recording and streaming. Um, so for those of you that are going to be doing a uh, recording, I would click new and I'm going to type in, I'm going to call this one test, uh, cause this is just for the video purposes. But if this one's going to be for, for recording, I'd put recording and then click okay. And then I'll ask you optimize for streaming, recording a second day or optimize for recording. I'm not going to be streaming. And I would click that one. If you're going to do recording, optimize just for recording and then click next. And it'll go through and ask you your settings for me. Uh, have my monitors is 2k and, and my PC is pretty good. So I'll do everything in 2k, but for this purpose, we're going to do 720p and then we'll do either uh 60 FPS or 30, but prefer 60. Um, so then click next and then I'll give you like the best results it finds and then click apply. So first off with HD, go into your settings and then let's go to video first base canvas can be like whatever your monitor is. So like, just say you're on a 720p monitor, then leave that at 720p, um, which is uh, 1280 by 720. If you are on like a 1080p or even like a 2K monitor, set this to uh, not 1060 by 1080, which is 1080p or set it to 2K resolution and then leave your output on whatever you're gonna record in, which is in our case right here, 720p. And starting off, we're gonna do for 30 frames per second, um, so select 30 frames per second and then downscale filter. I would either do by cubic or do the one up from it, um, which is like 36 samples. I would personally do the top one, uh, but you, if your PC is not really, um, that great, I would do by cubic. Um, and then after that, we're going to go into our output settings and an output instead of output mode, having it on simple, do advanced and then go into recording, don't worry about streaming, and select, first off, we're gonna go down to the encoder because it has the wrong encoder. We're not gonna use the same as streaming. We're gonna select it, and then if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, like I have a 3070, so if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, click uh, NVIDIA NVENC H.265, um, but if you do not, then just do X265, or 264, my bad. Um, so if you have an NVIDIA encoder, do the uh, NVIDIA NVENC, if not, do uh, X264. So after we select that, it'll give you a whole slew of settings. Um, first off, we're gonna start with the recording format. Uh, either do MKV or MP4. I always record an MP4, but when you do it, it'll give you a warning telling you that um, if by any chance your power goes out or your PC just shuts down randomly in the middle of recording, it'll corrupt your file. So a lot of people like to do like uh, MKV so that if something crashes, it's fine. It, your recording will just stop where everything crashes and it won't be corrupt and it'll still be usable. Um, don't worry about uh, rescale output. Um, what I do on my rate control, I do a constant bit rate. So I do constant bit rate. And if you're recording in 30 frames per second, sex, uh, set your uh, bit rate to 6,500. Um, and then keyframes, I usually put this at two, but you can leave this at zero if you want to, but I'm gonna put it at two. And then uh, with your preset on your quality, um, you can either do quality, but if your PC is pretty good, I would actually do max quality because that's what we're shooting for in this video is the max quality we can get. And then profile, I would put that on high. If you don't think you wanna leave it on high, then I'll do main, but I honestly don't think it really hurts the performance too much, so I leave that on high. And then you can select look ahead if you want to, it doesn't too much matter. I usually select it, but do look ahead and then psycho visual tuning, I'd probably check. And then these other two at the bottom, uh, your GPU and your max B frames, I would leave those the same. Um, so now if we go back to video settings, if we select 60 um, frames instead of 30 frames for 720p, we'll go back into our output. And then for our bit rate, instead of uh, 6,500 kilobits, we are gonna do uh, 9,500 kilobits um, for the bit rate. And that's pretty much what you should do. If you're doing 720p 60, you should do 9,500 kilobits uh, for HD. If you're doing 720p 30, I do 6,500. Um, next video, 
I will probably do uh show you guys how to do it in 1080p 30 and then 1080p 60 and then 2K 30, 2K 60 on up to maybe 4K. I don't record in 4K, but I can show you guys up to 4K. And I'll also do a video on if you have bad internet or if you have a bad PC, um, what OBS settings you should select, um, which I kind of was covering it here. If you have a, a worse PC to kind of drop the settings down a little bit. But yeah, I do hope this helped you guys. If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time.